Hi, right, in this video I'm going to show you how to take data that's a date and that's separated into separate columns such as the month, day, and year and combine it all into one column so it makes it a little bit more easy to use and view. So it's basically a pretty easy type of uh, function. The function used to combine the month, day, and year all into one cell is the date function and it's actually pretty easy to use. So what I can do is go into this column, type date and select the date function and it's going to take three arguments the year month and day so I'm going to select the year here comma month comma and day and just press enter and you'll see that it has showed up now we see that the the value is kind of nicely formatted here and Excel was smart enough to figure out that this is a date but sometimes when Excel uses date formula you get this general no specific date formula and this is basically the serial number format which Excel sees dates and the way it displays dates is what I showed you earlier as the, either a short date here or you can do it as a long date here and let me go ahead and double click this to increase the size so you can see it but basically once you get the uh, use the date function and get the separate year month and day you can you know, come back into a serial number format you can use the uh, date these date functions or you can go into more number formats and use different types of uh, formatting style so maybe if you like something else like maybe you wanted to see it uh, uh, like this it can show it up like that and click OK and we can show something like that where you have the date month and year but I kinda like it with the the short date and we can just go ahead and select that double click the fill handle to bring it down and we'll see with the each of the different date functions here the arguments have been copied down uh, respective to the cells here so that's how we can use a date function to combine uh, the month day and year when they show up in different columns of a spreadsheet so we can make it easier and put it into one column so I hope that helps thanks for watching